the chart of VID. Whenever you open up any technical details of the CPU, any CPU, whether it's AMD or Intel, you will find a chart which is called as the VID chart. So now this is a particular VID chart where it says it has VID 0, VID 1, VID 2, VID 3, VID 4 and VID 5. There are 6 VIDs, VID 0 to 5. And depending upon the permutation and combination of this binary language of VIDs, you can see what is the voltage. So this is a specific uh, VID chart of a specific CPU, Pentium 4, 478 model, uh, sorry 775 model, which drives up from 0.8375 volt to maximum of 1.6 volt. So we know that once the CPU gets uh, started up in the market, up uh, whenever the CPU, specific brand of CPU gets started up, maybe 4, 478 or 775 and so on, generally they come up with a higher value voltage value. And as they go with the higher CPU for, for I, I mean to say, so like higher uh, frequency voltage, uh, higher frequency CPUs, so generally it comes out maybe with the 2 gigahertz, then it comes to 2.4, then 2.6, and then 2.8. So what happens up? The 2 gigahertz, let us say, it starts with 1.6 volt. As we are increasing the uh, frequency level, the voltage level decreases because we know to increase up the speed, it is only one thing what can we can do is to decrease the voltage level because the travel time, any instruction travel time, if this is maybe 2 volt, so the travel time over here, if I can reduce down the voltage, I can increase the travel time much. So this is the reason why this VID chart has been found out. So uh, this is the VID chart where we can follow that what is the VID our CPU accepts up. So you can understand it is not only 2 gigahertz and 2.1 and 2.2 and 2.3. There are so many variations. Intel and AMD things up once they come up with the CPU. Now I'll come to the next slide. You can see this is called as a transaction uh, region. Say suppose my CPU voltage requirement is 1.3, the 1.3 volt which is shown in the top. And over here you can see the time in microseconds. So what is transaction? The transaction means this is the time period, so approximately 9 microseconds are required from once I switch it on, it is 0 volt, it takes up roughly around 9 microseconds to come up to say like the CPU voltage that is nothing but the 1.3 volt. So this is the time required to make the voltage stable to the CPU. Now in this chart you can see this is our SNPS, this is our SNPS. In case of a desktop board where you can see you have a 12 volt, you have a 5 volt, you have a 5 volt standby, 5 volt and 3.3 volt. In this you can see very well that this is my CPU, this is my south bridge, my memory, my sorry, my north bridge, my memory, my south bridge, my row, my LPC, my cloud generator. So in this you can see the CPU. The VRM, uh, the VRM section. What I was talking about. This is the VRM section. But once I once the VRM wants to work out, one important thing is the VID voltage. The VID voltage should reach to the CPU first, because if this voltage doesn't reach the CPU, the processor has to send some information to the VRM that is nothing but the VIDs. So VID. Once the CPU is generating VID, it's a very common sense that uh, there should be something which is sending a voltage to it. So that is nothing but the VID voltage. I can show up in the next chart. You can see over here the different VIDs which comes out from the CPU. So you can see over here VID 0 to 4. The CPU sends out the VID and it's been received by this VRMIC. So this is a VRMIC HIP6004, one of the very popular ones upon a time. Anyhow, this is an old one. Uh, the same thing has been followed up in the current one. Anyhow, with, with few modifications and all, because Ampere is increasing day by day. The Ampere requirement of the CPUs are increasing day by day. So this is how the VID comes in. Now, as I've shown you the drive high and drive low, let's see what is over here. You can see the U gate. Can you see the U gate? Pin number 14 is the U gate. 
that is nothing but the drive high. And you can see the L gate that is nothing but the low drive. So the high drive you can see is connected up to the, it can be to the 12 volt or it can be to the 12, uh, 5 volt. Today anyhow everything is 12 volt, it is not 5 volt. I can show you one more diagram. You can see over here, uh, to the facts, no, even this shows a 5 volt, but anyhow today it is all 12 volt. Hmm? So the uh, 12 volt or 5 volt reaches to the drive high, or uh, equal the uh, drain of it. The source is connected to the drain of other one. And from this joining point is nothing but a inductance. And after the filter capacitor, you can see you can see six into fifteen hundred microfarad. So approximately around uh, maybe eight thousand, nine thousand microfarad is formed out. And this is the thing which goes to the CP. A very important thing of the DRL is nothing but the power good. Now power good is nothing but an uh, signal which comes out from the CPU saying that the proper sending of voltage to the CPU is be done very properly. So this is how the VRM section works out. Anyhow, this VRM section, whatever I am saying, can be very well understood by the people, those who are into the field, who understand electronics and all. But I don't think it will be of any zero use to the people, those who are not into the field, and those who don't understand this particular circuit diagrams and all. This particular circuit diagram, I generally take around five to six classes of around two and a half hours to explain up the entire uh, show of study of how does it works out to uh, the troubleshooting of the VRM section. So anyhow, this is for the advanced viewers, those who are into this particular field. Uh, this may be of some uh, help to you all that uh, how does it functions. And to the newcomers uh, to this particular field, it can be very helpful. And uh, uh, very, very important is, uh, yes, of course, if you have any query, uh, please do send to me. I'm always there to answer out, but uh, probably very busy days goes with me. Uh, I can't answer up every question and all. Uh, but still, I try my best to answer it out. And uh, happy learning and uh, I'm a profession to this particular field. Uh, since last 20 years to this particular subject so 20 years into full-fledged repairing of desktop and laptops and 20 years into imparting training all around the globe so I have uh, I'm from India I have in-house uh, training center uh, with the name computer system and again I'm really proud that uh, if you just type out chip level repair in Google uh, probably the first or the second uh, site that gets opened up is nothing but computer system. So do visit out www.compudrivesystem.com uh, www uh, for other information if you require anything related to the institute. And if related to the subject is concerned, you can always mail me up. Uh, you can mail me at info, info at the rate compudrivesystem.com. Anyhow, uh, Thanks once again to all the viewers, happy learning and hope I will be coming up with the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.